Will is an employee resource group, which is its mission is to focus on the empowerment and development of women at both QTS and in the technology industry in general. So maybe that's a mentorship program. Maybe that's connecting you just with different people across the organization. How can you better network? How can you better learn what's going on in other areas of the business? Is there an area that you want to develop in personally? So how can we help grow that? Is there somebody here, again, that we can connect you with to learn that? Is there a class? Is there education that we can help support? Will has established the first mentoring program at QTS, and so it's peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. Um, it can be at, from any level, but as a mentee, you basically sign up and you get matched and paired with a mentor that QTS and a board feels like you would get along with, click with, um, your departments kind of align. Um, so for me in marketing, it was someone in sales. And it really is a program, it is what you make it. We met uh, bi-weekly to just talk about my personal goals, my professional goals, and how I can grow as a leader with someone in the company who has already grown as a leader. And on the mentor side, we have such a great culture here at QTS of being helpful and wanting to jump in and say, if this is something that you need, I am willing to support you. And however we need to get that done, let's make it happen. And so from the mentor side, there are so many people saying, hey, I've been in this industry for many years, or I've been building this skill set for myself, but it doesn't do me any good if I can't share that or teach that. We have speakers from all over the place in all different categories come and speak. So depending on where the event is, whether it's live, whether it's virtual, held in Atlanta, um, held in Overland Park, we've done a few in Ashburn, Virginia. They cover so many different topics. We've had people come in. Chad's wife, Jeannie, I think was one of my favorite speakers um, because she shared her story. It was very personal and it was someone that we all know of. Um, so that was, that was really cool to see. We've had women who are authors come in um, and talk about their books. We've had women come in who have beat cancer. Um, so the various topics, I mean, it's such a wide array of topics and a wide, diverse group of women, um, which is also just really cool to hear all the different perspectives. And I think the flip side of that is this industry is so niche anyway. Not a lot of people uh, really know data centers or what we even do or what that means and how do you operate one. Um, we're kind of a what I would call a behind the scenes industry that you don't really think about unless maybe something goes down. And even then you're probably like, oh, internet but you don't really understand where that comes from. So it's how do we also build exposure to others and build those relationships, not with, with just within the walls of QTS, but uh, outside the walls of QTS as well. Oh, my favorite part easily about Will is that I get to combine my two passions. Um, I didn't think there was going to be a position or a job ever where I would be able to combine social media and advertising and being able to do what I love as with fitness and nutrition and wellness. And when Will reached out and asked me to serve as the wellness committee chair, um, I knew it was a perfect combination of working with QTS, um, which I've grown to love, and also being able to talk about fitness, nutrition, education, kind of bring out the trainer side of me um, in my professional life. So that's been really cool. I think the biggest thing with Will that everyone should know is if you want to get involved, you can. You don't have to be asked, you don't have to be appointed, you don't have to even go through any scary process of interviews. It's literally a like welcoming environment, everyone is welcome. Everybody is welcome in this conversation. Everybody is welcome in this group. And it's important that we include everybody in this conversation because one woman or one group of women is not going to change um, all the things that we want to change. They're not going to initiate and inspire all the leadership and different uh, initiatives that we want to accomplish. So. That's, that's what I would leave you with. Everybody come, come join Will. Well, I think in general, one of the things that I love most about employee resource groups, regardless of what they're focused on, is that they allow people who have similar experiences to connect and understand that they're both not alone in their experiences and struggles and provide solutions to one another. So that's really what I love about employee resources groups and Will just happens to be the one that I helped start. <laughs>